guys welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family faith hope and love i'm so glad that you joined me let's be fed daily bread are you hungry join me on my digital journey. I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day. If this is your very first time tuning in, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, and please, please share it with your family and with your friends. Hello to my family. Hello to my friends. Thank you for joining me on my digital journey. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. This is actually episode number 388. Yes, 388. So let's dive right in. What I'm going to be talking to you today about is the word energy. Yes, energy. I've had this word for quite some time sitting. And every time I get prompted to do my episode on energy, it's like I get stopped in my tracks. And I'd be like, okay, Holy Spirit, what else is there are you trying to teach me? What else is there that you want me to know? But, you know, if how God moves. He is very intentional in what he does, and it's all about timing. So I know that this episode has been pending for quite some time. But during the holding pattern, waiting for him to say, this is when you need to execute it. I've learned a lot during that time. I've seen a lot during that time. I've experienced a lot during that time. So now I have a better, better understanding of energy, okay? And um, if you go and look into the dictionary to see what is the meaning of energy, there's very definitions. But the simple one is um, the ability to do work, okay? That's very simple the ability to do work. Um, we know the very first scripture in the Bible is Genesis. In the beginning, God did what? He created the heavens and the earth. So God has been working from day one, okay? And then we learn about our Sabbath, where we gotta rest. Some people think it's a day, but it's actually we're resting in Jesus, knowing who he is, that he can provide, and he can provide our needs and give us a double portion that we don't have to toil and slave and work ourselves to death. That's a whole different topic for another day. What we're concentrating about is energy, okay? For me, um, I can tell by someone's energy um, what type of outcome or if we're at any event, um, it's like the moods, the vibes, positivity. Um, if it's a negative energy, if it's positive energy, I can basically feel it. So it's like that spirit of discernment. I know when certain things is about to happen, if something isn't right, if somebody isn't right. Um, and that can help you a long, long way. Um, I'm like so in tune now. It's like if something isn't right, and it's like negative, negative, like really like bad. It's like it would hit me like smack in the middle of my head. And I can like feel that force feel. I'd be like, whoa, wait a minute. Something isn't right here. Then I'm checking my surroundings. I'm always vigilant. Know who is what, who is where, who's supposed to be where. If something isn't in place, then I know now what it is that I can correct. But... A lot of times there are certain certain circumstances that we are unable to control when it comes to energy you can't control somebody's bad attitude you cannot control somebody's negativity but what you can basically control is you how you allow it to affect you okay and that's what we're talking about in reference to energy how are you going to allow it to basically affect you? And I think I came up with 
ways that we can focus on positivity and positive energy. Um, several words that I'm sure will make sense to you. First word is definitely gratitude. Are we waking up with a heart of gratitude, being grateful? Do we approach every um, situation with doubt and optimism or being skeptic or not sure what we want to do? Um, we can control that. So positive or negative, what is it are you going to do with your day-to-day -day work? Um, I think the golden nugget, what the Holy Spirit wants me to make sure that you get out of this particular episode with energy is that the things that you cannot control, do not focus too much on it. Do not put too much um, energy on that because then that will bring out the negativity, stress, anxiety, anxiousness, because you can't control it. So it's like you're putting that energy, you're focusing on things that you can't control. But then things that you can control, you can control um, having a great attitude, you can control being grateful, um, you can control um, the way perspective, the way that you look at certain uh, situations, you can control um, your atmosphere. Um, if you don't feel right about a certain thing or a certain situation, you can basically, like you used to say, um, you can change that channel, just change it. Um, I don't want to experience this. I don't think that this is right. You change the channel, you walk away, you go somewhere else, but you do not let it get to you. Okay, so I think that's the golden nugget for today in reference to energy. Do not focus on the things in life that you cannot control. Push forward your energy, which energy means taking some type of action, um, doing something. Um, you make it positive. You always have some type of gratitude. Um, you be optimistic. You have positive energy and you have a great attitude. And your outlook is completely different to what it is. Your circumstances is basically being presented in front of you. Okay? This was short. It was simple. It was to the point. It wasn't anything like, whoa, like, it's just there, energy. Do not focus on the things that you can't control. Just focus on the things that can give you um, positivity in life and avoid negativity by all means. So, I want you to know that the word of God proves to be true. Yes, it does. And God himself is a shield to all of us who come to him and ask him for protection. My question to you each and every day is, are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed daily bread.